how's it going? I hope y'all are having a really happy day. I thought today would be really fun to try jackfruit for the first time and just talk to y'all and catch up, tell y'all how I've been, share some thoughts and I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments as well and hopefully you're doing great. Um, and yeah, I just thought this would be fun, a nice little catch up. I went to the grocery store the other day and I got this jackfruit for $2.77. And this is what it looks like and it comes in this wrapping and I'm super excited to try it for the first time. I've never tried jackfruit before but I hear it's good and I'm excited and so yeah I just thought I would try this while I chat with you about whatever it is that I feel like talking about. So let's open this up. Hmm, I'm smelling it. I really hope it's still good because it's been in the fridge for ah, about a week. Hmm, the seed came out. That's really cool. This is what it looks like. Okay, so here's our jackfruit. And so what I'm noticing is on this side, it's really spiky. It has a really cool texture. Ooh very cool that is really nice and then on the inside it's got massive seeds which i'm assuming are not edible or at least not in this state i did read that you can boil them and eat them but it's got a bunch of seeds and then the flesh itself is yellow and i'm not really sure how you're supposed to eat this it smells okay well i have a really bad sense of smell so it doesn't really smell like much but it does smell fruity. Mm, and it's really fun to hold. Like the textured side feels really cool. I would not think that that's a fruit. Or is this a fruit? I'm assuming this is a Yeah, jackfruit. I mean, I would not assume that this is a fruit by looking at the texture, but it's really cool. So I'm excited to try it. Um, so let's dig in. I don't know how. Whoa. This is so cool. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be eating. I don't think I'm supposed to eat the white parts. So I'm not sure actually. I'll just try the yellow parts because I think that's the fruit part. Okay, and then there's white bits in the back. I'm just gonna rip that off as well because I'm not sure if I'm supposed to eat that or not. Okay, here we go. Hmm. It tastes good. Hmm. It tastes a little bit like papaya. I'm not sure if it's gone bad. I smell something that smells... You know that rotting fruit smell? I smell it very slightly. I'm not sure if it's the flesh of this. I don't really smell it that strongly, but occasionally I'll get a little whiff. Hmm. It's good though. It just tastes like papaya, but it's yellow. Hmm. Is it papaya that I'm thinking about? Maybe it's a melon, just like any type of melon. It tastes like a melon. But it's good. So, thought I'd talk to you about what's going on as I eat this and have a little afternoon snack. So, it's currently the weekend. It's been really beautiful outside today. And Chris and I went to see the Avengers uh, Infinity War, which was really good. And about this top that says adidas on it um it's kind of like a pinky beige color and what else oh yeah i have this from last night it's a uh, milk tea um super good and what else oh yeah the world cup started and i could not concentrate so i'm a massive soccer fan because i played for most of my life and I could not concentrate on work on Friday because all I could think about was the game that I was watching between Spain and Portugal. You should have seen me. I was screaming. I was so enthusiastic and so excited. Like, I love soccer so much. I have a hard time sitting through any game for other sports sometimes because it just takes so long. But soccer, I'm engaged the entire time. I love it. Uh, let me know in the comments who you're going for if you're watching the World Cup. Like, what's your team? I'm tend to go for Mexico, Spain, 
Brazil. I like Argentina because I like Messi and Portugal is pretty good too. Those are kind of like my teams. Uh, but I'm hoping Spain or Brazil wins. Obviously I'm going to root for Mexico but I'm not really sure they're going to do that well because they generally don't. But we'll see. Also Chris and I finished watching um, One Mississippi which is on Amazon and it's a really good show. Um, it has Tig and Taro in it. And Tig, she's like, if I could embody a lot of who I am in a person, it would be Tig and Taro. Because she's so authentic, so chill, really passionate about a lot of topics that I'm passionate about, and says it like it is. I really like to have deep conversations with people, and I feel like Tig is one of those people that allows you to open up and have those conversations with her and her topic i mean not her topic and uh the show one mississippi covers a lot of really deep topics um they mentioned therapy in there they mentioned a whole bunch of things like um childhood trauma etc oh trying to get this out <laughs> <laughs> okay, got it. Yeah, I feel like it's the white parts that don't smell that great, but the fruit itself is good. Um, yeah, it looks beautiful too. I feel like I'm eating um, a flower petal. Uh, very refreshing. Um, but yeah, One Mississippi by Tig Notaro. And that whole show and everything is one of the best shows I've ever seen in my life. Goblin, the Korean drama, is the absolute best show I've ever seen. But One Mississippi is second, for sure. I love how real it is. I feel like I'm the kind of person that I try to be vulnerable um, with you all. Because I really want us to start conversations. And I'm, I'm trying to live more authentically. It's something that I'm working with my therapist to do and figure out who I am and develop my identity more. And I really want all of us to work on ourselves and to, to grow as human beings and to have open discussions about heavy topics and light topics and everything under the sun that we can think about. Because I feel like it allows us to connect so much. And so, yeah, been loving Tig Taro and Russell Brand. I love Russell Brand. He talks about how like if you watch any of his um, YouTube videos or listen to his podcast, he talks a lot about self-growth in so many different facets and about how we all follow a manual of life and some of us are conscious of it and some of us aren't and it's all about figuring out how to gain that consciousness about what your manual of life looks like, which is usually what your family, what your parents based or taught you in life, um, kind of what your community taught you and how you had this linear way of thinking growing up. And a lot of people stay on that path and they don't really change from the path that they think that they need to be following in life. And I really like how he encourages you to learn more about yourself in the world so that you can understand the areas that you have room for improvement. And, um, he talks about connection, about vulnerability, about authenticity, about mental health, which are all things that I like to talk about a lot. So I've been really loving him and I encourage you all, if you want, to listen to his podcast or to watch some of his videos. Um, same with Tig Taro. I really love how, if you've ever seen any of her interviews, she's just herself. Um, I think so often we fall into this pattern of feeling like we have to fit into social norms or be what other people expect us to be in a way. And right now I'm learning how to, or I'm trying my best to develop my own identity and focus on who I am as a person and allow that to, um, so basically like establish a strong self-esteem by understanding my past and my presence and who I am as a person. Allowing that to give me confidence and courage and the ability to understand myself so much that I can feel like I can be myself 
my most authentic self and have the confidence to do so. And I think I have a lot of confidence to do that, but I want to be stronger in that. And I'm really focusing on taking care of myself and I don't know, like letting my curiosity go wherever it wants to go and, and learn more about myself in so many different ways so that I can feel like I'm at a point where I'm stronger and I can therefore be there for others more. Um, so it's kind of the journey I'm on right now. And yeah, you all are a big part of that journey. I really hope that I've, I don't know, some of my videos have either made you happy or whatnot. Hopefully some have been escapism. But I also hope that some of my videos where I'm more vulnerable have allowed you to connect with parts of my life uh, or allowed you to have the courage to have more open conversations in your life. Um, this is really good, by the way. I'm just like munching on it so much. I like the texture. It's very squishy. Almost spongy. Um, what else has been going on? Yeah, basically I've been in a really self-reflective mood. And I want to dig deeper on some topics on this channel. I want to talk more with you all about um, different topics like feminism or our identities or connection between human beings. Um, just anything. I want to talk to you all about more real topics um, and kind of get your thoughts as well on those things. Um, I think so often... One thing I'm really passionate about is that so often we live with masks in front of us, in front of our faces, and kind of showing the world the side of us that we want to show them. And I think it's really important for us to access the more vulnerable parts inside of us and to grow as human beings and to do things like go to therapy and talk to others and make connections so that we can understand ourselves better and allow ourselves to the freedom and the liberty to be who we are but that can't always be done if we don't really understand ourselves and at least for me i didn't really get the opportunity to develop my identity until recently and that's a bit old to start figuring out what you like to do in life things that you love what you don't like etc so it's exciting but daunting that's kind of where I'm at right now. I've been learning a lot through therapy and of course I've had my really hard days. Um, I struggle a lot with dissociation so I'm trying to focus on that and I really hope that through all this growth and this journey that I'm on of uh, almost going to therapy now for two years and uh, focusing so much on self-growth I really hope that this journey allows me to grow as a person, to become more authentic, and to have healthier relationships with others and with myself and to therefore strengthen those healthy thoughts that I have and the healthy habits so that I can feel really whole within myself and be able to give to others more, be able to give to you all, be able to give to the people in my community and everyone that's in my life and just sort of be more present for them, be more available, um, understand myself so well that I can help others understand themselves more or at least have those conversations with them. I feel like a huge part of me really desires to connect with others and to allow them to feel safe being themselves and to have open conversations and to share who they are with the world and to live authentically. Like that's one of my biggest goals for myself and that's a huge goal that I have for others because I see so often that people do not live their most authentic lives. They sort of live by the pattern of those before them whether it was their immediate family or their friends or just the way society kind of structures the world i really encourage people to see who they are through a different lens and to try to access different facets of who they are and to go against the grain in a way and sort of think about who they are as an individual and who and what their authentic self wants to do in life whether that be um, thinking about your careers who you surround yourself with the place you live how you live how you go about your life the kind of hobbies you have 
your perspective on things. I really think that authenticity is so incredible and so rarely nurtured within those around us because of things like social norms and sometimes wanting people to be just like you. I think it's so nice to have open up deep conversations and connection and whatnot. I'm not really sure if any of this is really making a lot of sense, but I want to talk to y'all about how I'm doing and just see how y'all are doing as well. I'm super excited for the World Cup, like I said, and I've been watching a lot of really good TV that has been opening up a lot of deep conversations within my home. And um, I just feel, I think I'm a bit of a deep person and I really like talking about deep subjects and exploring them and so that's sort of been on my mind right now and yeah I'm excited for the summer I'm excited for the sunshine and um, I've discovered that jackfruit is pretty good and if you haven't tried it yet I recommend it and it's really beautiful I think it's so nice I would love to do more videos where we just chat and I just eat different kinds of food I really love talking to you all so I think that'd be really fun and yeah I don't have much more to say I really hope that y'all are really happy and um, I encourage you all to try to be more vulnerable and open up those conversations with those around you and try to explore different facets of who you are um, because I can guarantee you that if you do your best to grow as a person and try to live more authentically, you will feel so much more happy within yourself knowing that you really love who you are and you're living life just authentically and being true to who you are as a person. Um, yeah. Anyways, you all are amazing. I love you all. And I hope that you all have a great rest of your day. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.